Hello my student, this is the time for mathematics. Our teacher is Mama Francois. Uh, we are just going to see the infinite series. Now the lesson today it is finding the sum for the infinity series. Let us give you an example. Find the sum of the following series, hence calculate its limit. This series is called infinity series because it is not they have no limit. It is just an infinity series. So finding the sum of the following series, we have to write the first equation. The series is 3 out of 10 plus 3 out of 10 squared plus 3 out of 10 root plus 3 out of 10 of plus plus 3 out of 10 of k. So just find the sum. We have to verify if this series is arithmetic or geometric. Now let's verify if the series is arithmetic progression. For just verifying for any sequence or any series is arithmetic progression, we have to calculate the common difference. Now let us find D1. D1 is equal to the second term of class, the first term, it means D1, it is 3 out of 10 power 2 minus 3 out of 10. Now, D2 is equal to the third term minus the second term, it means D2. This is the third term is 3 out of 10 power 3 minus 3 out of 10 power 2. As you see, D1 is different from D2. This means the series, the series is not arithmetic progression. Now, let's verify if it's geometric progression. For just verify for any sequence, if it is geometric progression, we have to calculate the ratio. If we find that the ratio 1, ratio 2, ratio 3 is the same, we conclude that they have the common ratio. As they have the common ratio, it becomes, the series becomes geometric progression. So, let us find the first ratio, it means the second term of the first term. The first ratio will be equal to 3 out of 10 power 2 over 3 out of 10. This is 3 out of 10 power 2 times 10. And now this is 1 over 10. The second ratio is equal to third term over second term. Now the second term, the ratio it is 3 out of 10 to 3. Now, 
Now I can calculate our sum Sn. For our sum Sn, it will be equal to the first term 3. This is 3 out of 10. Sam, 
of this infinity sum. After finding this special sum, we multiply both sides by 1 over 10. We will multiply both sides by 1 over 10. Now we have 1 over 10 SM, which is equal to 3 over 10 squared plus 3 over 10 cubed plus 3 over 10 power 4 plus 3 over 10 power 5 plus, plus 3 over 10 power N plus By one over ten, we we use. Let us call this the first. Let us call this one, and this is two. Now we subtract one from two. And then let us take one. Minus two. It means we have S N three out of ten. Plus three out of ten square plus three out of ten root plus three out of ten plus three out of ten power ten. Now here we have one over ten s n is equal to 